finding that track. Maybe on the way back we will. Maybe as we work our way back we will find that track. There is a kind of a track there, but it's so close to the fence, I don't think that's it. It's so close to where we are now. No, it was about 50 to 75 yards or more away. Yeah. I mean, you can see where that grass is, that kind of glade, that's a sort of a we track. We were far enough back that when the object came into the forest, it came into here somewhere. Yeah. And was moving horizontally, bobbing up and down, avoiding the trees. That's when I said, let's try and get closer to it. Yeah. So we tried to get closer, and it went back out into the field between us and the farmer's house. Yeah where we observed it for a while. And I was quite concerned for the people in the farmhouse because it was close enough and the, the light was reflecting. It looked like a fire on their yeah. windows. Now there's hedgerows there now, but there's a, a bottom row of windows you could see yeah. in the second yeah, You can only see the top now. Yeah, for, for me, just at, at this moment now, I want to try and find the, just, just, just the, the most accurate possible location that we can get, with, hopefully without leading you too much. Uh, I want to take a really accurate five to 10 second GPS fix. Um, and then I can use that when I come back. Okay. So, if that's okay with you, 